Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back again with the message you need to hear right now. So let's hop right into the reading and find out what is it that your angels really want to tell you. First of all, from the jump, I was hearing that you got people talking about you and can't keep their name out of your mouth. I feel like these people are super mad right now because the more you are not paying attention, the more unbothered you are, the more people can't get enough of you. I feel like a lot of you really just started to really pull back your energy. I feel like you guys are already super unbothered, very focused people, but lately something has gotten into you where you guys went super hermit and you just started to really just focus on yourself in a way that a lot of people got shook. I feel like there were people in the past that you used to talk to or used to hang out with and maybe you fell off with these people or you just separated yourself from certain situations and these people are checking up on you to see if you even give an F and honestly they're super mad trying to create drama where it's not even there because I honestly feel like you guys are just so focused on yourself right now and what you came here to do and self-improvement and healing that these people are not even in your mind like a lot of people really thought that by you guys releasing them you were going to suffer but in reality a lot of you guys are realizing your life is better off without certain people and individuals and i'm definitely getting multiple people here so you got a reputation right now for just being super unbothered and i'm hearing you've always had this reputation but these people never thought they'd be at the other end of this like maybe these people were in your life they were your friends or family members or people you worked with and they really admired this quality in you that you can really pick it, pick it up and keep moving and just not really engage in drama but maybe what happened was that certain people started to drag you into their drama and you guys just weren't having it. I'm definitely getting the energy where I did pick up in the last reading, you guys going in Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Ice Mode, where you just ice out people. I feel like usually you guys are very warm and friendly and open, but when people mess with you or when people really get in the way of what you came here to do, you guys really are um, Ice Kings and Queens or you guys are learning this energy. I feel like some of you guys are just often... Um, very hermit just in general you don't like to mess with a lot of people because you're super sensitive to energy but people who've known you guys personally know that you have a big heart so if you're not messing with somebody it's because they did something to you but yeah you got a reputation right now people are talking about you let's see who's talking about you and why this topic you guys definitely have heard before on this channel i pick up on it a lot and it's really funny because ironically you guys are my people who really don't stay in gossip but you come to this video out of curiosity because my likers and my healers you guys have realized from a young age, even though you are minding your own business, people stay focused on you. And that's the first sign that you guys have a light to you and you have this star quality. So don't think you're doing anything wrong if people are constantly paying attention to you. It's actually a big sign that you're meant to do big things. Ten of Wands. Yeah, I really feel like you guys got people pressed because you used to really carry a lot of people's burdens. You guys really are the type of people that can handle your stuff and other people's and still kill it at the game of life. But there was a time where you guys realized that you see an angel is over there like i feel like your angels are like yo why are you carrying these people's burdens like they are adding problems to your life they are causing drama they're not learning they're not growing and i like to tell you guys as light workers and healers you get to pick and choose who you help and if people are unappreciative or even bringing you down you can let go of those burdens you guys definitely had situations where a lot of people just wanted to add their drama and their problems onto your life and this can happen a lot even in your relationships the empress energy is coming in here you guys really embody, embody the caretaker the giver and i feel that in your relationships you tend to just take on more than you can handle because it's natural for you you guys are realizing you don't need to do that or you don't need to do that in situations where that energy isn't reciprocated because there are people out there with similar energies who will do just the same amount for you that you've done for them. Uh, we got the six of wands in the world. Wow, yeah, I feel like you guys realized that you were just taking on too much crap from other people. Drama, BS, or even people trying to drag you down. So you just kind of release that. And let me tell you, this unbothered energy that you guys are in is making you step out and shine more. Because like I was saying in some of the other readings or the reading I did before this one, you really had people trying to defeat you or dim your light. So when you remove those people from your life, you are going to realize or you are realizing that you are naturally shining even more. You're going to notice a surplus of people paying attention to you more, trying to get around you more, but at the same time, not really having access to you because you guys are in this new energy of if you don't have something to offer, please take a step back. You guys are really realizing that this is your show and if people want to watch, they can watch, but they're going to have to back it up five feet, 10 feet, 50 feet, or from a far, far distance because I'm really hearing you guys say, back it up, give me my personal space. Like, I really feel like a lot of you guys are coming into a lot of attention, a lot of attractiveness. People are definitely talking about this, your glow up. You're in a really fertile time period and I feel like with the world card here, your angels are saying, keep going, keep going, keep going because you're going to see a lot of success come out of what you guys have going on right now let's see what else we have coming in here we got the lovers coming out and then we have the two of swords yeah i definitely feel like for you guys like 
there's a lot of suitors that want to come towards you. But honestly, this unbothered energy you guys give off really makes a lot of people intimidated. Like, I'm definitely sensing that for my people out there watching. You really are people that move with purpose. So it's like someone's got to come to you with a vision as well or how they can add to your vision. And I'm telling you guys, it's pretty rare that people have that. Uh, for my feminists and my masculines out there watching, like how many people you know actually move with purpose and you guys are those type of people. So people are trying to distract you from your purpose. There were people that just wanted you around, but they weren't really on board with working on themselves so they had to go but people are definitely talking about the fact that you are glowing up and looking good and people want to know like are you single uh because they want to ask you out date you you guys are giving wifey husband material right now uh eight of cups yeah and i also feel like because you guys walked away from energies that were kind of blocking a lot of these energies from coming through you're gonna see a lot of opportunities coming in i just put on my uh shorts and i just channeled this right before i did this that you guys have a reputation for being unbothered people want to work with you and be around you but you just stay focused on what it is you guys came here to do because you're realizing a lot of people are going to come with this energy of being takers like even when i had not much going on i've always had people trying to move in with me be close to me get in my projects and i realized the energy you embody the emperor the empress is inside of you of course you have to learn through lessons of life of you know stepping back into this power or releasing people that are not allowing this power to um to shine but yeah you guys are really coming into your gifts and a lot of people are pressed that you walked away from them and there are people still trying to fight to get back into your life like the six of pentacles in reverse the star what did i say you guys are embodying this star quality and i do want to say with the six of pentacles in reverse there's people big mad that you're not giving to them anymore so they're going to say and do whatever to try to get attention you guys may have even noticed that there were certain people from your past that were still trying to get your attention or honestly i'm actually hearing you guys haven't even noticed but there are people actually actively trying to get your attention right now and they're really mad that you're unbothered some of you guys have gotten wind or maybe you got a request from somebody and just blocked or just ignored those messages or just kept it dry like there really are people that were trying really hard to get your attention so if they went as far as to finally contact you after months and months or even years know that it wasn't just oh you know your your face just popped up in my head i want to check up on you no these people have been checking up on you and they're waiting for the perfect chance to come in and slide in and see if they can get away back into your life now not all this energy is uh negative i feel like some of this could be people that want to network with you be friends with you date you even but you guys got to be super selective about your energy so if you're being called to by your angels god whatever you guys believe you guys know i'm religious talent here but i always say i believe in god and you know i feel like you guys are my chosen ones if you're really directed to my channel at this time but i really feel like if you're being called to be hermit and be selective and be suspicious then be that way i'm so tired of like the gaslighting people saying oh you gotta trust gotta let people in People don't know what it's like to embody this energy of everybody wants a piece of you. And there's an extra layer of that because you guys are also attractive on a superficial way, but you're also attractive on a spiritual, deep, complex, star-powered, empathetic, healer. You're pretty much everything. You guys are givers and, and you're beautiful and you really need to be careful who you let in. So if you guys went through a season where you had tower moments or people had to be removed or you removed them, uh, either way, you're doing a good job here. Keep it moving, okay? Nine of Swords uh ten of swords yeah there's definitely something going on about a uh, betrayal uh, or somebody who you guys walked away from and this person is having sleepless nights because they basically know that with queen of Pentacles in reverse like they tried to probably use you or take advantage of your guys' stability see what else we have going on here uh, i feel like you guys got clarity cut this person off and block this person out yeah you guys maybe hit block on a lot of people you're not having it so these people instead of working on themselves guess what they're doing they're focusing on you and i realize that that's just a whole different group of people like can't relate right but there really are people out there that they put their focus on other people so much that it really prevents their growth i was really thinking about this today because I'm somebody like, yes, I believe in law of attraction. I actually do have like a subliminal channel and you guys check that out. Uh, but the point I say is that I, I began to rely less on trying to manifest or force or fix or change, um, especially others. I realized that you can manifest, you can heal yourself, you can help yourself. But at the end of the day, you can't control other people. But there's so many people out there that are trying to manifest through controlling other people, taking away their free will, which is really a darker energy that no one should be tapping into. The best way to manifest your best possible outcome is to heal yourself, become the best version of yourself you can manifest yourself to be the best version of yourself that's definitely possible but that's what you guys are doing you went inward to manifest the best version of yourself you guys could definitely be working on glowing up and healing and just your mental health everything that could be whether it's 
in the spiritual world or the psychological, um, the mental, the physical, the emotional, going to the gym. It doesn't matter. I feel like you guys have been working on yourself. And that's what makes you guys so amazing. Because a lot of people, when things don't go their way, they keep their focus on other people. I'm definitely feeling a situation where somebody was just looking over your shoulder at everything you had going on. So when you guys started to you know, pull away from this person energetically because you felt that, you began to really glow and shine. And they're looking over like, what are you doing that's working? What are you doing that's working? Instead of going inward. And a lot of you guys are the type of person that people are like, you look great. What are you doing? You guys share with people. 10-10. You guys can see 10-10. But you got, yeah, I feel like 10, 10, because number 10 really represents you guys kind of being uh, put out in the spotlight. And you guys can have like 10th house placements, 10th house transmit, transmit Capricorn, even uh, Saturn here, Karma. I also posted on a TikTok. I don't post there that often anymore, but I do have a TikTok. But I posted on TikTok too that um, Karma is coming. Like I'm really feeling like you guys can have those placements where you put in the work, the effort, and now all that you've worked on yourself is being put out to the forefront, right? And there's people that are big mad that you just stay focused on your grind. They couldn't even take it away from you if they could try because this is embodied in your energy. You're going to notice that you are walking and talking and acting with, with a glow, with authority. That This is earned. This is earned behavior. And especially when you had people around you realizing this was happening to you, this transformation that you were going through was really happening. And they were like looking over your shoulder, trying to force or change your, your you instead of look, working on themselves. Like people are noticing this right now. And you guys energetically are just removing yourselves from these people and staying unbothered. Instead of engaging in these energies and letting them drag you down, you guys can easily identify them now. And you guys don't even give an F what people are saying anymore, uh, whether they're judging your way of being. Because like I always say, it's like if you're in a situation where somebody wants something from you, you get to pick and choose how you give. You don't let people ma manipulate you to keep giving and giving and giving to a situation that you no longer feel is worth it. And I feel like there are people that are stuck in the past. They're not realizing that the ship has sailed. You guys are done with them. And that's it. You know, three of swords. Yeah, we got some heartbroken people. Missed opportunities. People are looking back. Um, love options from your past. Like, wow, I thought this person was going to put up my BS forever. Nope. Bye. Nope. Bye. That's what I'm hearing. Like, nope. 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 Yep. And I really feel like your angels are helping you too as well with this journey you're going through. Because you guys may wake up one day and be even more unbothered. Like, wow, I really thought I was going to be heartbroken over this forever and you guys are going to like no angels god help me move past this boom on to the next right and i feel like you guys really are on that path where you are choosing not to stay stuck you're also by not looking over your shoulder whether people have going on you're also choosing to move forward away from these energies because sometimes people don't realize when they're engaged in a past person and always checking up on them they're also exchanging energy with that individual so you got people it's a one-way street they're checking up on you but it's wall and people can feel that you have disconnected your energies from people that were harvesting it, using it for their own good. So that's why they're extra triggered right now. You, your lack of giving anyone time, energy, or even people in your life, really. I feel like you guys are just kind of dry and not really engaging. Like people are taking a step back and realizing, wow, if I don't get my crap together, this person will never let me back in their life or it's done already. And I feel like this is a new energy you guys are stepping into because you're like unapologetically yourself because you got people out there wanting to be in your life, but trying to make the terms and conditions about how you guys give to them or how you show up for them. And it's not going to happen. Wow. The gossip card just flew out. You guys just see that? Yeah. Literally, this card came out too. I just did up the shorts right before you guys check it out. But I literally, this card flew out before. So I'm like, all right, we're back on this topic. You guys definitely um, have come to this. If you're new here, welcome. But I've been channeling this a lot. Like people are talking about you and it's crazy. And I just did on my pick a card channel, which is my, my first channel that I had. Like people are watching, stalking. Like, so this is a big energy right now collectively. But the craziest thing is like you guys are the most unbothered, most hermit, most not, not giving an F about these people that you've ever been. You got people watching you, people who know the people watching you, watching you, and people will not stop talking about you. But you know what's crazy? This is part of the karma. Because I actually feel like as a light worker and a healer, what you are is meant to be brought out to the spotlight. So you guys are meant to be working on yourself so people can really see. This is what happens when you follow a path of God, angels, and you stay on the right track. Because people know you've gone through it. A lot of people mistaken a spiritual path as just love and light. It ain't like that. You know, you guys are definitely dealing with a lot of different energies. A lot of you guys get shamed and thinking you're the bad guy. You're the horrible person because you're not putting up with BS anymore. So, um, yeah, I definitely a new energy right now too today. I'm waking up. I'm not with the, the crap. You guys could have been really drained the last couple of days. You're not crazy. There's definitely a lot of evil eye. A lot of people just want to know where you're at. And the more you pull back and shift your energy, the more people are mad. Um, there's definitely a lot of people and then this card came out too it's like a lot of people think that you're the one for them you were going to be there forever ride or die but they're living in fantasy land i actually feel like with the gifts here you guys are embodying more and more gifts i like to say this a lot and some people don't like this but i personally do not believe in twin flame i know my chosen one my light workers and my healers you guys engage in helping a lot of people and you got to move fast because i feel like with these lower vibrations trying to trick you guys into thinking someone really toxic and horrible is your other half when in reality 
I'm hearing, I don't relate to you. You don't relate to these people. You don't relate to these narcissists you've dealt with. You don't relate to these low vibrational BS people. You're here to shine your light and keep it moving. I do believe in soulmates. I do believe in divine unions, but those are going to be orchestrated by God to higher power. We don't get to pick and choose or have to sit there trying to manifest or fix or change those individuals. What we do is shine our light and be our best selves. And those people can either follow along our journey too as well, or they can F off. Like that's really what I'm hearing. And it's like, I really am... For those that know me, know me, I speak out about this because I'm really um, wanting you guys to be happy and, and great connections. And you guys can be saying angel number one, two, 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 one, two, two, three. Like whether or not you label someone this or that or not, that is not important. What's important is not focusing on somebody else to complete you. It's knowing that you are complete and badass emperor, empress yourself. And they could never, you know, even relate to what you are, but they could try, right? And people will rise up to your energy and match your energy if they're meant to, or if God is guiding them to, and if it's in their divine plan. But um, I, there's too many people out there trying to tell you that you are controlling or fixing everything in your life, and you don't have that responsibility. And I feel like you guys are realizing that you have a path that's chosen for you, and you get to pick in your free will what you engage your time and energy in, and what you manifest, and what you focus on, and who you help. You've been giving a lot of power and gifts by the divine, and you're you're being told that. And this reading is not just for anyone, but when you resonate, you'll resonate, and you realize, like, okay, why am I getting all these crazy, crappy uh, situations happening to me? It's because you have a, a light to you, and you're going to attract everyone and anyone under, under the sun. And so you're going to pick and choose, and you're going to be this energy of, like, yeah, people will say whatever about you, but that's because they want to get around you. People who people don't give an F about don't get talked about. People are talking about you because you got a divine spark in you. Um, yeah, because there's people like you guys forgot about that are talking about you. And it's like, why are you still in their mind? And you've forgotten about them. Literally, you guys are going to see people pop, pop up like, oh my God, you're still here. Like you still exist. Yeah, I really feel like there's someone from your past here um, that you guys released. Maybe a close friendship. Um, maybe someone younger than you or someone less mature than you. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys could release a friendship here or a relationship um, as well um, in the past where you guys had a really close connection with this person, but you guys kind of went ice on this person because uh, they probably did something to you or threw you off balance. It's going to be something in the home. Yeah, it could be something involving your home life. It could be a family member too as well. Um, yeah, I so see you guys are just like, it's really funny because I'm, I'm hearing you guys are actually just learning how to just be cold and shut off and not emotionally engage in people because there's really situations where I feel like some of you guys cannot get rid of somebody or you're in a situation where you really can't um, just like maybe work or family, like I said, a home life, like you can't not see this person or individual and you guys are learning with the difficult personalities to just give them nothing emotionally. Um, you know, and it's like, you guys don't want to have to be fake, but it's like, you're knowing what, what to say and what not to say with certain people because certain people just really can't elevate, you know, the way that they need to. So you're learning not to be bothered by that. And that's why I'm going full circle. The power that you guys are unlocking right now is really stepping into this full embodiment of being Unbo unbothered like because the unbotheredness is, is making these emotional people or these people who are trying to get you emotional not able to do that you guys are really learning how to go ice king ice queen on people's you know what you know so let's see what else we have going on here yeah there's people talking about you guys uh people think that okay so i'm seeing a situation where someone that you have cut off um because maybe they're getting in the way of things that you guys needed to do here and they're talking about you and they're thinking maybe like you cut them off because some yeah they think People have suspicion that you guys have a new love in your life and maybe like that is the reason why you're doing this But in reality you guys are having new love for yourself Like you guys know some of those people that when they get a new relationship they disappear Like some people may be thinking that's what's going on with you But in reality, I really feel like you guys uh with or without you know If you have love in your life or not like you're going to be on this energy like People will do everything but have accountability for the way they treated you, right? So there's an individual here that's like thinking, oh, maybe they got a new boyfriend or girlfriend. That's why they're not talking to me. But it's like, no, you did something messed up and I walked away. And it's like, you guys have had enough with the same old BS because you're realizing that, yeah, with this energy here, you guys can have cords of attachments to people when you engage in them, when you hang out with them, when you have them in your life. And they're either pulling you up or dragging you down or meeting you where you're at, you know? And you guys are now realizing that you gotta limit the energies of people that are just dragging you down. And sometimes it's not meant to be, yeah, especially physically. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing an energy where you guys have stopped engaging in someone physically from your past, maybe a situationship. And this person was definitely messing with you guys energetically. And maybe these things are not on purpose, but as a light worker and a healer, you guys gotta be real careful with who you exchange energy with. And just a side note, guys, I'm not one of those people too as well that's like, into like shaming anybody for who they've been with especially some people uh, identify being like a sexual healer and stuff like that and you're actually 
I'm not gonna say you're meant to like be with a lot of people, not like nothing like that, but you're definitely meant to explore multiple connections the course of your lifetime. And it's not your fault if certain people are not acting right. And I always say this too as well. It's not really casual relationships sometimes that affect you energetically. It's actually those big attachments to that one person you keep going back to that's no good for you. I often find, especially myself, that's when I, I find myself getting sick and drained. Um, not that I'm out there in the streets, but you guys know, um, you guys follow me on Instagram, Queen Alice Love. Your girl Alice loves to party, go out. And I definitely interact with a lot of people and get to experience different energies and how they really feel. And one thing is for sure, there's certain energies that I can't even... Um, stand to be around for a second never mind sleep with so you guys definitely have dealt with certain energies that it's like you know you realize after a while like as a friend or even even not sleeping with that person even as a friend they can affect you energetically even as a family member they can affect you energetically so as the people that go so far to say that like sleeping with somebody is like oh my god like you know you can still core cut and cleanse and release that it's not the end of the world you know but i'm just saying um the the, the hardest cord i think to cut is like the cord that's um in key when you're engaging in like any kind of like addictive relationship with somebody, a codependency and, you know, sexual energy could be part of that. So, you know, there could be someone in the past that was using sexual energy to keep you hooked on them. And you guys are realizing by being celibate towards this individual, um, you're attracting new love in your life because you guys are also probably learning right now about energies and how it really affect you. I actually talked about this too on this channel about you guys are similar to me where you kind of maybe start off being very logical. So it was really hard for you to actually process the fact that people can energetically hold you back or push you down or even get you addicted to them, even if they weren't doing spell work or anything like that. And everything is energy here. A lot of people have crazy strong energy, crazy manifestation abilities, and they're not using it properly or knowing how to use that energy in a way where it could benefit them or you um so yeah i really feel like new love keeps coming in so honestly some of you guys are having new love coming in and it's or you have a new love for yourself and it's really triggering a past energy here i'm seeing someone you guys have had a, a relationship with in the past and you literally are unbothered and not giving them any time of day i actually feel like you guys were really into this person but you guys broke free and moved forward because you really felt like this person was affecting your strength um energetically and these are things that don't happen there's plenty of relationships i've had where um somebody cannot act the best towards me but their energy is like fine but there's certain people like to my face at least saying like oh like all these things but energetically doesn't feel right like trust your intuition i'm not saying accept when someone doesn't act right but sometimes certain people are just really good at having masks you are really highly favored yeah you're just want you guys to know you're really highly favored by the way guys i do have a lot of digital decks if you want to know about your love interest guys should check out my shop love is this visions love is this shop love is this visions .com. i have a lot I, I have a lot going on i like to shout out because sometimes you guys don't know and these decks are available for sale you can look below um numbing the way numbing the pain the best way possible yeah you are highly favored honestly i feel like this is kind of you guys like you guys have gone through so much and i feel like you guys have really tried to do whatever it took to get by without hurting anybody and you really have people in your past really shame you for the things that you guys needed to do um in order to survive and i feel like you guys are the type of person that you never try to hurt anybody but maybe you guys had a time period where you really took things out on yourself and you guys were just numbing the pain maybe with a certain relationship or person or pattern and you guys are breaking a pattern here it doesn't have to be involving somebody else but you broke a cycle um that you guys used to do to numb your pain and it's really helping you out and i feel like this could have been with the help of the angels or a conscious effort you guys have made and this is because instead of focusing your energy outward you're focusing your energy inward and you're really breaking the patterns of codependency because a lot of people they get heartbroken by somebody else and they start looking outward for a replacement instead of going inward and and healing yourself so that you could be a better version of yourself and the cycle continues and i'm feeling as well for some of you guys it could just be like coping mechanisms that you learned weren't healthy you slow down on that um and really try to heal yourself and yeah you guys could even have got rid of relationships that were perpetuating your toxic traits um instead of um being around people that brought out the best in you uh snap out of it and envy yeah i really feel like you guys snapped out of whatever phase you guys were in because you realized that a lot of people around you that were trying to give you maybe you advice or even trying to get you to change where people that are envious of your position and sometimes people don't even realize they are that like that's why it's so difficult sometimes being an empath being a healer you got to be in your intellect as well you can't be too much in any side of um things and i feel like you guys were chosen for this lifetime because of your intellectual abilities as well so you guys could be very skeptical even of this reading like is this true is this really me but in reality you guys are skeptical and you're meant to be skeptics to to be able to rationalize your logical brain everything that goes on around you and that could be really challenging because also you have these spiritual gifts and rationalizing spiritual gifts is really difficult as well but instead of just like sitting there trying to second guess what you're picking up on what you're feeling you're just embracing it and using that as a form of learning and higher knowledge 
Um, I really feel like you guys snapped out of it and realized that somebody was just being envious of you and that's why they were treating you the way they're treating you. And these people, these energies could be very sneaky. But one thing I know uh, for sure is that like, because I've had so many experiences with people, friendships, relationships, just work situations. I had a lot of different jobs before I was on YouTube. And um, I realized that people sim act in similar patterns. So it's like, if, if I see this person like, if I see somebody acting a similar way that someone else hurt me has acted, um, I tend to step back from that energy because I'm like, no, I'm not going down this road again. And you guys are realizing that, like, even though you could be enjoying a time period with somebody, I'm kind of seeing like a scene where you guys just snap out of it and you're like, no, I'm not doing this again. Or your ex hits you up and you're just, I'm not doing this again. I got to go home. You know, like you guys are actively actually like being in your logical brain and being in your intuitive brain and merging those together, which is kind of like the transformation you guys are going through. Because I really feel like for those that are watching, you guys probably were really on the logical end, but also at the same time in certain relationships, very emotional, and you're learning how to balance all of that. And this is a skill set, and people will also criticize this skill set. Like, oh, one day you are cold towards me, one day you're not. It's like you guys had enough of people like, speculating, telling you how to live, telling you how to be. And I like to tell you guys this, the majority of the gossip or the negativity is not the majority of opinions of how people view you. You are not, am I, you are very loved. Like you're not somebody that people don't like. I really feel like the reason why people are talking about you is because they're mad that you don't care about them or even hearing you don't love me anymore. Like people think you don't love them anymore because you've gone cold. But in all reality, that was the best love you guys can give them, especially if emotionally or physically you can't give this person the way that you guys want to because your mission is calling you another direction. Or just the fact of the matter is that you know being cold and cutting this person off is the only way that they'll grow. And I really feel like this is the case here um, in a lot of these situations. You guys are realizing you can't keep engaged with these energies because they're just going to drag you down. Celebrate success in silence. Yeah, it's sad because you guys are actually headed towards big wins and you might actually be called during this time period to celebrate success in silence. And I feel like you guys actually have people speculating that you are winning, that you are even maybe in a new relationship, that you are just growing and thriving because you're not engaging with the same toxic patterns you used to the same toxic people. And I feel that also... Um, yeah, there's going to be a win coming. And I think this is advice to celebrate in silence because honestly, it's not that anybody can stop your bag. It's just that you guys have this amazing wisdom and ideas and plans. And you just don't want anybody affecting that. And people can also affect your plans just by instilling doubt. And it could be very energetic. Again, there's certain people and energies when I'm around. My self-esteem plummets and they're not even saying or doing anything. And I still can't rationalize why that is. Evil eye probably. But again, um, I try not to over-focus on that. And so, you know, because it leads you in a state of like paranoia. But honestly, it's just... Go where your energy feels the best. And honestly, a lot of you guys are being called to just isolate and focus. You've got cunning and wisdom. You guys are literally getting gassed. You are so smart. Literally, in the last reading, I was talking about how I talk really fast. And honestly, most people can figure out they can speed down the video. But there are so many people, like not so many, but a good amount of people. And I've been on YouTube for five, six years now because this is not my first channel. It's my third channel. Um, that complain but there's five more people that love the speed that I operate at and for some people like I said English is not even their first language but they can understand me and the point I'm trying to say is to encourage you guys who are maybe a little bit ADD like me or you or you think really fast my ears are ringing or you talk really fast or your brain works in a way that's different than a lot of people it doesn't make anything wrong with you it actually makes you guys who you are and um yeah I feel like just like there's people that are not going to appreciate the way that you are, there's going to be plenty more that are. So this is also your sign that maybe some of you guys are meant to be heard, but you're on a different level than a lot of people. And um, yeah, I feel like Wisdom Keeper. I also, I also think about the fact that I channel really fast, but I think it's because, well, I always tell you guys, I lose the information if I don't get it out fast. But also, I feel like I'm here to do so many different things that like I got to bang this out and keep it moving because I want to make sure I'm helping as many people as possible. And um, yeah, I feel like also... I'm relating to you guys because I'm actually hearing that people are talking about you and saying that like you're always on to the next you're always moving on you're always moving away from people you're always trying new things or you don't even know who you are or you're even unstable right but in reality you're following your intuition which doesn't look normal to the logical mind but the sad part is you guys are extremely logical even more logical than most and you know that keep trying and keep doing you you're gonna end up succeeding because you took the first step in being happy which is not to give an f what people think that is the first step of being happy guys so it's like if you're not even paying mind to this bs yeah there's gonna be people that give you constructive criticism but i don't really think you guys are in that mode right now uh you guys could be uh people that have no problem being hard on yourself or criticizing yourself so i don't think you need it from any other direction i'm really getting high intellect here as well with the wisdom keeper and the cunning 
yeah and you guys are really stepped into this new energy where one of your spiritual gifts is your intelligence and i like to emphasize this a lot because if you guys are being guided towards learning or sharing knowledge or writing a book like there's a reason for it um even my very logical people even if you sometimes feel like you don't have a connection to some of these things we speak about your intellect is a spiritual gift i've met some intellectual people and they've actually come to the same conclusion that i have spiritually even though like we may be totally different um, in our ways of thinking or totally different in our belief systems even. Um, and I've been through um, certain phases in my life where my belief systems have widened or changed. And I realize there's certain people who have um, maybe a different way, uh, a different viewpoint or a different religion or this or that. But we come to the same conclusion. And I think that's a very beautiful thing. I always say that, um, you know, God would not put us on a planet where some of us would never have access to certain knowledge and shame us for that, right? I always say, like, if someone's born on a desolated island and they never get access to a certain um, ideology, are they destined for not not being enlightened? No, it doesn't make any sense. There's uh, different ways of going about things. And I always feel like God made us different for a reason so we can all learn to love each other and coexist. And, of course, there's ways of thinking that are toxic, and you guys know I tackled that too, but... You know, I'm in a little bit of hippie mood today. <laughs> this is as hippie as I'm going to get, guys. Uh, they are transforming. Yeah, wow, beautiful. I know I messed up. Wow. Okay, this took a turn. There was someone that was big mad that you guys kind of cut them off. But when it came down to it, they were talking to people around them. And they were saying, well, this happened and this happened, this happened, this happened. And people are saying, well, you know, you were kind of wrong for that too. And that's kind of what I'm picking up on. Like, um, the fact of the matter is by these people talking about you, they're actually still trying to rationalize why you guys cut them off. And a little side of them actually wants to be able to reflect and learn so they can have you back. So there is somebody here that you guys cut off. Uh, this person was too concerned maybe with, with sexual matters or especially with a friendship, validation, nine of pentacles. Uh, you guys were already in this nine of pentacles where you're happy, single, you're happy alone. And again, you may seek companionship. You may have your moments of weakness, but at the end of the day, you guys are in a whole other energy where a lot of people haven't even gotten there yet so maybe some of you guys are going to come at this person with compassion but somebody actually wants to come back and reach out to you um with the page of swords they've been watching you guys and honestly they kind of know they messed up here this person with the magician here like they're trying to manifest their way back into your life let's see what else we have here seven of pentacles and then we have four of wands yeah, somebody really realized that, you know what, they kind of also second guessed their whole relationship with you because they thought you and them were in a more stable place. But I feel like that kind of came from ego, thinking you're always going to be around. And also, they thought they were much more of a stable person. But when you left their life, they realized how unstable they really are. You guys are really the rock in a lot of people's lives. And you often get called unstable because you're absorbing all that energy and you're acting wonky. And you often sometimes don't realize how you set yourself on fire to keep people warm, right? So someone is realizing that they actually were not as stable. Like maybe they even thought they didn't need you anymore. But when you guys left their life, they're really been trying to like manifest the way that they could without you or kind of get success the way they could without you, stability. And it's not working. Like losing you is a source of strength. And so, yeah, let's see what this person, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this person also like realized that you probably are just, they weren't learning a certain lesson that they need to learn. I feel like karmically or, or you guys were are just trying to ignore this person to teach them a lesson. And I feel like, yeah, I mean, if that's your intention, they may never learn. But I do feel like there is some, I feel like you guys cut off multiple people. But there's somebody here who's like really realizing that like their spark has gone out since you guys haven't been around. It's tough love. Yeah, you guys gave someone tough love. And now you got the reputation for being someone that does give tough love. So I feel like this individual like... Like, their friends and their family actually really liked you. So, when they go to talk about you, people really say to this person, like, what would you do? You know, like, why is this person not talking to you anymore? Because everybody knows you to be a really kind, loving person. And if this person tried to go as far as to say, well, they did this and this and this, people often defend you. We're like, well, you know, weren't you doing this, this, and this to them? Or you were talking about them a lot, you know? So... Um, I feel like you guys have picked up on something. Let's see. These people are messy AF. Don't let them spill on you. Yeah, I even feel like you, maybe even the people that this person associated with, you guys are not big fans of. But it's like your name constantly comes up. People cannot stop talking about you. And it's because in this particular situation, you were so close to this individual. But now you seem so unbothered. You left them speechless. And jealousy is the root. Some of you guys, it was a romantic connection to as well. But I'm really getting friendship or even a work situation. Honestly, multiple. Because I'm really seeing like a huge transformative time period where you guys are like, okay, I can't be talking to everybody. I can't be sharing my ideas with everybody. I can't be sharing my energy with everybody. I got to go hermit. Because physically, you just couldn't handle the BS anymore. You just couldn't take it anymore. And some of you guys could really have just went ghost mode on people's asses, you know? You exceeded expectations. Your angels are really proud of you guys. Like, you, they're really proud of you for being able to walk away from things that people could, didn't have the strength to do. 
Jealousy is the root and you left them speechless. Yeah, you guys have picked up somebody's jealousy around you and you realize that where you're going, this person was only going to cause problems. Uh, but this person may be trying to change and come in. Someone said, I already lost you. What did I say? This person was talking to people and they're like, nah, you messed up. What did you do? Why did you do that? You know? And it was like not the first incident or you guys are really somebody that like gives people time and space and effort. And it's like at the end of the day, these people need you way more than you need them. And you guys are realizing I got the power here. Why am I wasting my time and energy when I could be focusing on myself? Like I really feel it unbothered. And you know what? Behind the unbotheredness that you guys have is a fed upness. Like it isn't a, oh, I miss them. Da, da, da. It's actually a fed upness. Like it's, a, it's like almost in anger like it's like please get out of my way you know like that's why people are not bothering you or they're staying away from you because it's like deep down they're like either this person really hates me now or they just don't care and it's not you know oh they're missing me you know they used to think that maybe that was going to be the case but it's not anymore you're the only one who calls me out yeah there's a particular situation where you guys really did call somebody out and i feel like um they're they're speechless now and they're trying to talk to other people about the situation and um, everyone's pretty much telling them like it's over it's done with like you know you did do that because you know there could be individuals here that are kind of proud of their toxic behaviors or somebody here i talked to my angels about you but i do see for you guys there is somebody here who's actually um talking to their angels about you and kind of reflecting right now on their behaviors we got the knight of cups here and they actually want to come back with an apology um and change i feel like this person in the past they were kind of unstable because of their own toxic habits their own toxic traits but they're actually working on themselves and trying to grow now. So yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, by working on yourself, you guys have a lot of people coming towards you, a lot of people that want to be around you, a lot of people that want to date you. I see like multiple people wanting to come in, new people too, but there's someone from your past here that is realizing that they needed to work on themselves if they have a chance of being back in your life. And it's because at first they tried to like talk badly about you, but people around them were kind of like on your side on this. And that made them kind of realize that they were not acting right. And at the end of the day, they realize that maybe your unbotheredness is not that you don't care, but it's that you are just fed up with them and you had enough. So you needed a little time to heal. But I actually feel like there's someone that's going to be coming in with some sort of apology because uh, at the end of the day, this person, uh, they got out of delusional energy and they're realizing that they did not act right towards you. And again, you cannot want this person back in your life. But what I see is that, yeah, they could have been, you know, just not honest with you. What I see is that by you guys just getting away from them, it caused a tower because this person was definitely not being honest with themselves, being delusional. And yeah, you guys tend to cause towers in a lot of people's lives. And then we got the devil here as well. And then we have the fool. Yeah. Okay. So I just feel like there's, <laughs> you're dealing with a lot of toxic people, but one person in particular is actually trying to work on their toxic traits to come back because um, they, they're just so mad that you don't care about them anymore. But in reality, they're realizing now that you, it's not that you don't care that you're that unbothered is that you were fed up. And that's kind of what I'm seeing. And also this person has to control their jealousy because you guys were really glowing up and that's part of your karma for working on yourself. And instead of this person being mad, they're realizing that maybe they should just get around you and get in some of this good energy that you guys are embodying. So yeah, I feel like you guys have a true love for yourself now and also a true love around you either coming in or you guys could be in a new relationship too that may have caused some jealousy. But at the end of the day, I feel like your good karma is coming in and you guys are breaking free of anybody that is stopping you from doing what you need to do. So keep up the good work. You guys are incredibly loved by your angels and there's gonna be a lot of situations where you're gonna feel like people are coming at you left, right, and center or that a lot of people don't like you or they are talking bad about you but in reality you guys often bring people to the enlightenment that they need and that's why they keep coming back even though they may say this or that about you so i do hope you guys like this message enjoy your day night evening and i'll see you guys all next time bye